So actually, uh, we're about we're, we're let's see, one week postoperatively, over one week postoperatively, and he's actually doing quite well. He's keeping his eyes open for comfortably. Some small indication of potential vision in the right eye, but at this point in time, um, as he's on glide path, um, or at least you know, yeah, fairly good glide path is good uh, from the healing process. A fair amount of corneal edema, that's to be expected because of the, because of the traumatic incident. But the grafts are holding quite well. The, 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 what I can uh, judge by inside his eye is is calm and, and you know progressing quite nicely. What about his sight? Again, I'm not getting much evidence of sight. Uh, I, I might have some potential sight in the right eye, but he is quite um, quite shy, head shy. Uh, basically, he does like to um, squint his eyes quite excessively <laughs> if you get close to him. From a distance, he keeps him quite comfortably, but he um, and so because of that. I'm unable to get a, a, a very good assertion of sight. What about a dog without sight? Can they maneuver? Well, I, and... Actually, they, they can do quite well. Dogs are not visually dependent species as we are. Their, their eyesight isn't as good as ours. Um, and so um, when, when they do lose their sight, their other senses are much more keen than our, than our other senses are. We're a very sight dependent species, whilst they are not. Um, so when they do lose their sight, they actually can adjust exceptionally well. Um, in fact, I've had patients in which were blind for months, if not years, and the owners didn't know they were non-visual until they moved or changed the furniture around and started about the end of things. Oh, wow. um, so they can get along quite, quite nicely. Don't get me wrong, my main, one of my main um, goals is to try to preserve sight. But if, uh, when I do fail, which um, or we can able to do it, uh, they at least still have a very um, exceptionally positive um, lifestyle. Okay. Sure. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Come on, let's, let's, let's see if we can. I mean, we keep the e-collar on when we're not watching him just because I, I can't have him doing that all day without any supervision. Right. 
So as long as his eyes rub. are closed, hmm? he can rub. He can rub, and, and, and he, he may rub a little bit on his eyes. I mean, he's, he's rubbing kind of, I think, it's an all over his face kind of. with the eyes is it always looks worse than it is but yeah but he's definitely if you notice he's keeping his eyes he's still going in the end yeah he's, he's got two tanks <laughs> holy crap Blah, blah. It, he does drink a lot of water. i can't even imagine that he can store that much liquid i don't know where it comes from it's amazing that he has so much and he's, he holds well, he does, it he for does you eat, when, every time he eats he does eat a lot of soft food also and the soft food is 70 percent water so that must be a part of it does, is, does he ever have accidents in his cage? Not that I know of. Mm -mm. So he's holding he's, all this. He, he basically lays down and sleeps all day long. Unless you come up to the kennel, then he'll stand up and he'll go up to the kennel and kind of greet you at the kennel. But he sleeps, I mean, he's very calm. Very, very calm. He doesn't bark. He doesn't yeah, you know, you know there was you know? no sound at my house too, but I think part of that I think could be the trauma. The because the, I doubt seriously, I doubt seriously that he doesn't bark. I just had, I have a feeling this is post trauma. Post trauma, or she, she just hasn't. He hasn't come out of the show yes, just yet. Yes. Should have just brought a five. He gets excited, right, from seeing you or this We should have filmed this whole thing for your fans so they could see how long you pee. And it's not that we don't take you out to pee because we do. Well, <laughs> obviously, like, you know, it's like. <laughs> Look what you doing? He goes, I'm mopping the floors. <laughs> Just in case, just in case you guys needed any shining. Yeah, he goes. I've got enough here for the whole hallway. <laughs> here I'm working on it's the. A, it's usually about five minutes. It's actually been timed. One time we got timed. It was like four. Get out of here! Are you serious? Somebody was outside. Like, all right, let's see how long it's going. It was take. over four minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe it. We're at we're at a few minutes already. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> So we just stand there. And Otherwise, you've never seen a dog pee this long? I've never seen a dog pee this long. Not that it hasn't been out drinking the night before or something. You know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I mean, he just goes. I just, it's amazing that he would even hold all that. He doesn't have accidents in his kennel. I mean, he just, he's, I mean, he's very, very good. Oh. Yep, finally done. Oh. What, you watch those paws. Watch those balls. Okay, at least, you know, it, it, when it comes to things that come out of their body, pee is an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> see those balls? See those balls? Is he dehydrated now? <laughs> oh, but you would think, right? You would think that you are dehydrated. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Baba, or Baba, listen, I'm calling you Baba. We need to get you in the Guinness Book of World Records. Very much. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have any competition. <laughs> Oh, well, he's also on oral print, so oh, okay. the oral print makes them um, drink more pee, pee a lot. Yeah, but to just be able to hold that your tail is what you're doing. Aww. And we'll get this all cleaned up. This. Are you a good we boy? We got lots and stuff. Are you a good boy? Yeah, you feel like running now? Like you feel like five pounds lighter, huh? <laughs> So when you take them outside, is there you know, like an area or is it supposed to be that red? Well, it, yes, he just went to the bathroom. So that's why it's it, red? It, it'll, it's not that it's red. It's always red. Nowhere near as, as, as shut tight yes. as they were before. Yes. Uh, well, and I'm glad it's a slow it's a slow recovery, but he's getting there. I'm glad you're you know taking the collar off and he's 
he's able to do this because I would have been worried about him even doing this. That, that, I mean, I w it's not something that I would let him do constantly all day long. Yeah. But it's, I mean, right now, like positive control. Like if you were to see him like open his eyes and and go for his eye, then that's a right. right. He's just really he's just he is simulating space. <laughs> that's got to feel good. <laughs> there we go. Hey. That tail just don't stop though. Mm -mm. No, he's so sweet. Oh yes, Buck. I have to start going to the gym. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that's the graph up there that you're noting? Yeah. Can we get that on the camera at all? I don't know if we can. That's why he keeps... You got it? No, not yet. There we go. Ooh. Almost, yeah. Well, <laughs> I did have it. And this is his right eye that only has... <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's a strong one. He's a very strong one. But usually I just go, boop, put a drop in, and it's, it's really rather... Ooh, See that graph? yeah. It's really, it's really, and it's there, I mean, the drops are just quick, so it's, you see how he's, he doesn't, not nearly as much as, Buck! Yeah, I go, I, yeah. So this little flap, no big deal. Mm -mm. Okay.